Hey everyone, Shadow here, and welcome to another Marvel Contest of Champions video. So it's season 30, and this is war number 7. And it looks like we're going up against an alliance called Team SWD. It's a little bit late. It's Thanksgiving right now, and I just got home. So I am a little out of it, but we're going to take a look here and see what we have in store for defense. Uh, looks like they've already cleared out. Looks like there's a lot of empty spaces there. So I've got Hood as my first fight. No one on the second node. We've got uh, Magneto. We've got Colossus. We've got Mole Man, and we've got Warlock. So my standard team of Warlock, uh, Nick Fury, and Black Widow Clairvoyant uh, should be fine. I'm trying to see here. Yeah. So I could, uh, I'll probably use Nick Fury on that hood, uh, even though I could really fight him with anybody. Clairvoyant for that Colossus. And probably clairvoyant for uh, that Mole Man as well. And if I have to fight that uh, Warlock, I'll probably fight him with Warlock. Uh, let me see. I remember that um, that Global uh, caused me a lot of problems when I was fighting with Warlock. So uh, I have to think about that and see if I want to take him on again uh, with that high ground, I think it was. Uh, then we've got, on the left-hand side, Ultron. Clairvoyant could do that one. We've got Domino in the upper left-hand corner. Warlock could do that one. And that Bishop, I would avoid him if I can, but Warlock would be my choice to take him on there. At least he won't get prowess because Warlock is a tech. And then down here, we've got Nick Fury. Anytime I see Nick Fury, I know Nick Fury is a good option for Nick Fury. Um, Void, I will not fight that fight. Uh, I run suicide, so that's not a good idea. And if I had to fight that uh, Spider-Gwen, it would most likely be Warlock or Nick Fury. So my standard team can cover some of these fights as well as my path. So that's what it looks like I'm going to do. Yeah. I mean, worst case, I could drop Nick Fury off, bring on like Corvus, do the uh, Magneto fight, get that charge, and then fight uh, Warlock. And I would have those charges, but I'm probably not going to do that. It's tempting, but I know that I'm about to go to bed, so I'll do my fights as much as I can. And by the time I wake up, uh, they will most likely have already taken out that uh, Magneto. So we'll just stick with the plan. If he is still alive, uh, then I can make some plans to take him out, uh, probably with... Um, I don't know, probably Claire would be the only one on the team I'd feel comfortable trying that with. And even then I'd probably try not to do that. Uh, with Corvus, I would do it, uh, hands down. All right, let's get to the, uh, fighting. All right. So we're going in here with my standard team, Nick Fury, Black Widow, Clairvoyant, and Warlock. And in this war, I actually fight somebody that I hate fighting now. So I wanted a piece of him. But that's going to come later. All right, for now, we're in Section 1. And the first fight is going to be against Hood. Now, Hood has just recently got a rework. And he's good now. He's actually pretty good. Um, if you haven't seen some videos with Hood, he does a lot more damage than he used to. 
Uh, I, I love him now, okay? Uh, I took him uh, to rank two, I think, a long time ago before his rework. And let me tell you, he is worth taking up to at least rank two as a six star. Now, as a defender, I have not found him to be any more difficult to fight than he was before his rework. His rework makes him far more effective offensively. Uh, defensively, I haven't seen any uh, difference. Maybe on a different node, but I haven't seen it. You know, you still have to watch out for, you know, his invisibility because it's annoying. Um, sometimes if you're not careful, you hit into his block trying to push him to another bar of power and you accidentally make him go invisible, you know, stuff like that you have to watch out for. Other than that, no. Um, I didn't find him uh, difficult at all. All right, so here I stopped short. I just wanted to use up all of my energy before I went to bed, okay? Um, at this point, you know, I stop and I go to bed. Uh, that's when uh, they are really the most active. And as you can see, they've already opened up uh, the second one. And my alliance mate is fighting right now. So I came in at the right time where uh, he's, he's fighting. All right, so first fight is gonna be Colossus. Now, if you've watched my war videos, you know that Colossus is a very common defender to find on here. You also know that Black Widow destroys Colossus on this node. She just does. He's not gonna keep up his armor ups, so I don't have to worry about the bleed. Even if I didn't, uh, I could always go into her Curse of Blood and I would be immune. The bleed doesn't actually do that much damage anywhere, and there's only a chance for it to apply when he has an armor up, okay? So uh, if you come in here with a bleed immune champion, you're going to be just fine, all right? Now, I don't recommend fighting him with Corvus. I did that, and I won barely. It was lucky. I will not do that again. Uh, I was very surprised that I won. That's a Corvus trap. You can boost up and, and you can do it, but usually it's not worth it, all right? Uh, this next fight is against Mole Man. Now, Mole Man makes me a little nervous. That's not who I was talking about in the beginning um, that I was going to fight. Um, he just makes me a little nervous because I tend to hit into the block to try to get them to attack if they're being a little bit passive. You don't want to do that with him. You'll get wrecked real quick. Um, so as you see here, I'm just standing there. We're just standing there gazing into each other's eyes. That's all we're doing, okay? Um, here we go, got the uh, special one, and I'm just punishing special ones, I'm punishing heavies, that's all I'm doing. Intercepting is dangerous because if he doesn't follow you, then you end up hitting into his block. So um, he can bait you into trying to intercept and then block it, and then you'll get wrecked, okay? So I played that one safe and slow. All right, now I'm ready to take on this Warlock, okay? And before I could jump in there, my Alliance mate got in there. Boom, saw that? Uh, I was looking and I'm just like, okay, I was gonna see if anyone else had a better option for Warlock because Warlock is a great option against Warlock on that node. So I was going to take it, especially since I hadn't taken anyone in the first one. But then, as you see here, um, he fought. He wasn't able to finish him off. And I didn't want to be, the you know, that guy to jump in there and fight when, you know, they wanted to finish it off. Because I know how I feel sometimes when people do that to me. You know, I'll lose. And the next thing I want to do is go right back in there and get some revenge. You know, left some of my butt in there. And I need to go back and pick it back up. You know what I'm saying? So I waited to make sure he wasn't gonna uh, go in there. And now I'm not playing with him. I'm boosting up because I'm gonna rip this Warlock apart. Don't wanna play with him. Now I know also that in the beginning, before I can get my infections up, I'm gonna have to deal with that um, regen, the buffet. So he's gonna heal up a little bit before I can get that in there. I already know that, right? All right, boom, see? Boom, it's up. You know, I had the armor up, ate it, he healed up. 
So he's almost full, but what I'm doing here is I'm just getting the infection on like I did. Now it's off to the races, okay? He's going down, all right? I did that advanced power boost so I could do this real quick. Boom, he's almost dead now. And I'm almost at another bar, uh, two bars of power. And here we go, boom, done. That's how you do it. If I don't want to die and have a, a risk of giving them a point, that's what I do. Boost up like that, hit them with a couple of uh, special twos, and they're done. Okay? Now, I'm over here, uh, Mini Boss Island, and I see a domino up there. And I said, you know what? Let me clean that domino up. I didn't get hurt when I was fighting with my warlock. And warlock can smack around that domino. And I used to hate domino, but that's not who I'm talking about. Hated that domino. Okay? And if you guys remember from way back in the day in my war videos, that was my nemesis. I absolutely hated Domino. Still don't like fighting. Him, okay. But with Warlock, I can usually tear her a new one. Okay. So I'm not too worried about uh, Dominoes these days when I got my Warlock. Now is the fight that I was talking about. This next fight, I wanted a piece of him. Okay. I've been scared to fight him, that bishop. After his rework, I didn't know much about him, okay? And so I'd fight him, and I was getting these incinerates. I'm dying, you know? I don't know what not to do to bishop to avoid all this incinerate damage. I mean, it was crazy, you know? And so I'm just like, you know what? I'm not into all that. I got to deal with my nightmares, nightmares of the night that's right so i went in there after this bishop all right still got my boost up and so i'm gonna first get all of that infection on come on yeah come on keep going keep coming infections on give it another one just for a little safety you know get a little bit boom because the more i have um the more i can uh uh, reverse his uh, power gain. And then here we go. Ba -ba Boom. Special two. Bam. Already at a bar of power. Over a bar of power. Okay. So here we go. Trying to keep that infection up because I don't want him to have a whole lot of power. He started smacking me up. Who knows? Doesn't matter. I don't care. He's getting another special two in his face. And I almost have another special two. Come on. Let's keep going with it. You want to hit me like that? Boom. And Bishop is down. That's right. Ripped him a new one. He got a couple of licks in there, but he paid for them. That's for sure. So I ain't scared of fighting Bishop as long as I got Warlock. Y'all see why I like Warlock? Warlock is a beast. Okay? He's a beast. All right. So I didn't fight this uh, boss, obviously. Uh, so that was the last fight I did in this war. So in a moment, we're going to be back and you're going to find out how this war ended. And we're back. And as you can see, we won this war. Awesome war. I had a lot of fun, even though I still don't like war, but it was fun beating down that bishop. I know y'all could tell, right? Anyway, that's going to do it, guys. Thank you all for watching the video. Feel free to hit that like button if you enjoyed this video. Let me know in the comments below. Take care and you all have a blessed day.